So the two major candidates are in town. Well, so is a third presidential hopeful who might have a bigger impact on the outcome of November's election than one of the other contenders would like. And here is political editor Warren Olney with the story. Chris, her name is Lenora Fulani. She represents the New Alliance Party, which she calls a progressive organization. She qualified to be on all 50 state ballots. She'll be on your ballot when you go to the polls. And she also qualified for federal matching campaign funds. No mean feat. But the two major parties have refused her request to be part of the presidential debates. And a federal judge has upheld them. Still, she could make a difference. So this election is a fraud. It's a profound fraud. She is attacked from the left and attacked from the right. A vote for Fulani on November 8th is a way to use our votes. It forces the Democrats to deal with the black agenda. Since the nominating convention, Fulani claims Dukakis has shoved Jesse Jackson aside. She believes Dukakis expects black votes without committing himself to what she calls the real black agenda. Even during the convention, Fulani said that makes both parties equally bad. I think the Democratic and Republican Party stink. Um, I think that they are totally opposites to what the people of this country want. And the same ideas had a lot of appeal today at Compton Community College. Rise up and let's teach these folks a lesson. I'd say it's a ridiculous argument. Ron Brown is a top Dukakis advisor who used to work for Jesse Jackson. What it would perpetuate would be the Reagan-Bush years, which are years which have been totally unsatisfactory to the constituents that she claims uh, uh, to speak for. But Fulani's appeal is undeniable, and there is some uncomfortable arithmetic for the Democrats to confront. 